Olathe Park's trails and facilities are some of the best in the country. This wasn't always the case. In the late 90s, much of our park system looked like this. Cracked trails, dilapidated playgrounds, and overgrown greenways. Due to a smaller number of park acres and trails, there also weren't many options for residents. Taxpayers knew a change was needed. They worked with the city council to bring a one-eighth cent park sales tax to voters. In 1999, uh, the first sales tax was, was voted upon and approved overwhelmingly by the citizens. Improvements began, but by 2004, the tax was already set to expire. So taxpayers went back to the polls, voting to renew the tax for another 10 years, affording the city the opportunity to greatly enhance and expand Olathe Parks, trails and pools into the great park system residents know today. Some of the things that we were able to do over the last 15 years is a, is a complete renovation of our, of our neighborhood parks, a redesign and renovation of Black Bob Bay. We built new and expanded uh, greenways and trails. We opened up two new parks, beautiful Stagecoach Park, uh, Lone Elm Park. We made enhancements to uh, many of the existing neighborhood parks. The city wants to maintain those parks to the standards citizens have come to expect. But the financial funding to help do that is ending. The current park sales tax expires in March 2015, unless voters choose to renew it for another 10 years. The city has the fortunate responsibility to maintain 1,945 acres of parkland, which consists of 22 neighborhood parks and 13 community parks. Within those parks, we have 28 miles of pedestrian and biking trails. We have 64 athletic sports fields. We have an additional 36 sports courts. We maintain five historic sites, a new community center, four community and neighborhood pools. It's no small feat maintaining the parks, trails, and facilities that meet a growing and ever-changing uh, demand of our, our citizens. The new sales tax would afford us the opportunity to expand our popular trail system. We would repair the trails for safe and continued use. Many of our playgrounds that we have do not even meet today's standards. So a phased replacement of those playgrounds would be afforded. Another area that it's intended to enhance would be our athletic sports fields. Most of them are 20 to 30 years of age. Just an aesthetic improvement of our parks is critical. To figure out exactly what that looks like, joint citizen city planning sessions will help decide how to spend taxpayer money. It allows neighbors of, of existing parks or, or proposed parks to participate in the planning of those parks. It gives them a voice. It gives them some ownership of what their parks are going to, going to look like. We know that parks and recreation are more than just fun and games. Olathe has established outstanding quality of life amenities. Parks and recreation plays a critical role in that. This sales tax would afford us to maintain uh, our existing infrastructure, but expand and enhance it in a manner that will be there for future generations. If renewed by voters, the one eight cent park sales tax would renew April 1st, 2015 and sunset March 31st, 2025. If opportunities arise to address future library needs, the City Council has also agreed to look into the possibility of using a small portion of the tax to make small enhancements to library services. For more information about the park sales tax, visit olathekscorg park sales tax.